Hi everyone, this is Gary with your cards of the day and um, I have a couple of extra little things that I've got with me today. I have my newly acquired Lemurian Quartz Crystal which arrived this morning has been cleansed and I also have this rather beautiful Merkaba Star which is Green Aventurine which was sent to me by a wonderful friend, Marianne. Many thanks to her for sending me that. So I've got them with me today as I'm doing the cards for today. Okay, the first card is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, normally you would think of the Queen as being a very down-to-earth, practical, uh, grounded individual who is really sort of concerned with and works and operates in a very practical way and really sort of deals with the details of everything. Interestingly enough in this reading today the side of her that I'm seeing is somebody who is nurturing because I always tend to think of queens as being nurturing but someone who's actually nurturing the physical, looking after herself, taking care on an internal level to be grounded but also physically well and physically balanced and really you could look at this actually as looking after your health making sure that you're eating right that you're sleeping enough that you're uh, drinking enough water for example um, it's very very easy especially when we go through a time of doing a lot and really kind of working hard to neglect that, that side of ourselves and be um, and become very run down and um, lacking energy. So th to me, the Queen of um, Pentacles today is saying uh, to ensure that we're uh, making sure we're looking after ourselves and looking after our physical side. Okay, the second card today is... This is from the Mythic Oracle, and the card is Dionysus. Now, Dionysus is a Greek god, and he's the god that's associated with uh, wine, but also with vegetation, and with the arts as well, to some extent. He's a very joyful god. Uh, his gift really is that of understanding how to enjoy yourself. Uh, enjoy life's pleasures not in a uh, an overindulgent kind of way necessarily but taking time to to enjoy things to have fun and in particular to become involved with the arts and with music and poetry perhaps so this the suggestion here is one of you know definitely put some music on if you enjoy writing poetry or haiku do some writing if you paint paint basically look after your your uh, spiritual side and your creative side in the same way that with the Queen of Pentacles you're looking after your physical side with Dionysus you're looking after your creative juices in a sense and you're looking after your creative side as well and enjoying yourself okay and the third card today is from the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is a... It's an Oracle deck in sort of in the format of a tarot deck, and it involves some numerology and some chakra cards in there as well. It's a really beautiful deck. It has this incredible purple back to it, which I think is absolutely lovely. And the card is New Beginnings. Now, this is a major arcana card, and it is roughly equivalent to the Fool card, in a standard tarot deck and even though this has the words of new beginnings on it I'm looking at it as its correlation to the fool in the sense of the fool is a joyous individual he's carefree in this case obviously it's 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 a lady and think you can think of her as being uh, very enjoy very joyous and carefree and really 
having a lust for life and looking at every, all the possibilities that are out there that, for her which brings in the whole idea of the new beginnings as well because she's able to look at what's, what's in front of her and stride forward without any fear whatsoever so here we have that joy for life which I think is the message from this card today. So if we look at the three t cards together now, we have the Queen of Pentacles, who is counselling us to look after ourselves on a physical level, take care of practical matters where we have to, but also look after ourselves. We have Dionysus, who reminds us to look at life's pleasures as well and make sure that we're involving ourselves with the things that make us happy and we have the card of new beginnings which is about that joy of life that passion for the new things coming in and to really make use of them and have a great time doing it well i hope you've enjoyed this card of the day and um, i want to wish everyone blessings and a happy day ahead.